Yeah, good way to start things with uh, a nice round today. Yeah, I played well. Played solid the whole day. Uh, made a few good putts in the back nine for pars and for birdies. So overall, a 67 in today's conditions is what I needed. A couple of drop shots on the outward nine, but coming in with your scorecard, uh, anything you changed approach-wise? Not really. I just had a silly three putt on the one par three and uh, a bad tee shot in the one pot four and had to trip out sideways. Other than that, it was rock solid golf. I hit good shots the whole day, and like I said, 67 is exactly what I was hoping for when I woke up at four o'clock this morning. Did you think that that number was out there? I mean, is that what you had in mind that you could possibly get around here? I think if you hit the ball well, you can definitely score that. But on a golf course like this, if you start spraying it, you're really going to be in trouble. So I hit the ball great. I only missed one green on the front nine, and I knew that if I kept that up, I'd give myself a lot of opportunities for birdies. and. The way that I'm putting now, if I give myself opportunities, I'm going to make a lot of them. The course itself and the way it's playing, uh, your assessment of it today? Oh, it's, the course is in fantastic condition. I must say, uh, my hand goes, my head, uh, my hat goes off to the guys at Royal Cape. I mean, it's in perfect condition. And for a course at the coast in this time of, time of year to be this good is awesome. So it just makes playing it that much better. It's definitely got some teeth. Like I said, if you start hanging away off the tee, you're going to make life very difficult for yourself. Conditions-wise, I mean, wind getting up, I mean, that's obviously a large defence for this course, isn't it? Definitely. I think the, the wind brings out the teeth in the course. I think that being at 6.50 this morning was a blessing in disguise. I think trying to get trying to get out there quite early, I think we got about six or seven holes in the, with no breeze. So I managed to get three, two, three under par through that. And it always helps your, your scorecard through the day when you get those quick birdies. And now the breeze is picking up and I'm sitting in the clubhouse, so I'm quite comfortable. Have you played here often? I mean, what's uh, your experience here? No, actually, I had my first round here in on Saturday, on Sunday. Sorry, with uh, my dad, uh, the general manager, and Wayne Bradley, who's from around here, and we had a good, well, good game. So, got to know the course on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Really got some good practice in. So, I feel comfortable already. Does that maybe affect the way you, you're going ahead now, and the way you've approached this week, and the way you practice getting here, having a look at the course, and that? I mean, is that something that you'll look to continue again? Oh, if I can, definitely. I've always been one that's enjoyed arriving early at the golf course. So on a day, a course like this where I've never played, you want, you want to try and get you as early as you can. Obviously, when we the schedule's a little bit more compacted, you can only get you on Monday. But definitely try and get as much practice in as I possibly can. Obviously, there's a tournament on the go, but a nice carrot dangling at the end of it all with uh, spots in the NGC. Uh, is that something you're paying any attention to? And how nice would it be to uh, to get into that? Oh, it'd be a dream to play. But I think right now I need to focus on trying to beat my dad for this week because I think he he gave me a good lesson on uh, Wednesday morning. So I need to try and get back at him for that.